This mode pack currently includes four modes for working with devices. Unless otherwise noted, in all of these modes, the arrow buttons are used for general navigation. This mode sets up the matrix for controlling the selected device, which is indicated by a hand icon on the device's title bar. And intelligent button sliders are used for controlling the device's parameters. A button slider is a column of buttons in the matrix that's used to control a parameter. With an arsenal, we use what are called intelligent button sliders. The color, orientation, and function of the sliders is determined by the parameter they're controlling. When controlling a continuous parameter such as center frequency, you'll have the typical button slider orientation and function. When controlling a center detended parameter, such as beat offset percentage, you'll have a bipolar slider. When controlling a multi-option parameter, such as beat division, you'll just have two buttons for moving to the previous and next options. And finally, when controlling a toggle parameter, such as sync, you'll just have a single button at the top of the slider for toggling the parameter. With the continuous and bipolar sliders, smoothing is used to prevent abrupt changes in value. And you can set the speed of the smoothing. Right now, the smoothing is pretty quick. If I increase this setting, now the smoothing will be quite a bit slower. If the controller has velocity sensitive buttons, such as the Launchpad Pro, the smoothing can be controlled by velocity. So the higher the velocity, the faster the smoothing. And of course, you can turn that functionality off if you don't want to use it. When shift is held, you'll switch to an alternate form of parameter control. The top row can reset parameter values. With multi-option or toggle parameters, these will toggle between parameter values. The middle two rows can be used for fine-tuning parameter values. The bottom row will indicate if automation has been recorded for a parameter, and if so, this row will delete it. Here I have a rack selected, so the button sliders will control its macros. When pressed quickly, this button will toggle the device on or off. When held down, it functions as a momentary switch. The up and down arrow buttons are used for navigating between devices. If the device has more than eight parameters, these buttons will navigate between banks of eight parameters to control. This mode sets up the matrix for selecting the presets of the first plugin on the current track. Here I have Guitar Rig, and I can directly select its presets. The up and down arrow buttons will navigate to the next or previous preset. If the plugin has more presets than the number of matrix buttons available, you can navigate between banks of presets to control by holding down shift and using the up and down arrow buttons. So now I'm selecting presets 65 through 128. The matrix accessory buttons can be used for loading plugins. You can specify the plugins to load in the mode settings file. If the matrix accessory buttons have multicolored LEDs, you can specify the color to use for each button. This makes it easy to remember which plugin each button will load. With those settings in place, I can now load plugins. So as an example, I'll load Reactor. This mode sets up the matrix as an XY pad for controlling two parameters anywhere in your set. The matrix accessory buttons activate or deactivate learning for each axis. The topmost button is for the X axis. So I'll turn that on and assign the X axis to the frequency of analog's first filter. The bottommost button is for the Y axis. So I'll turn that on and assign the Y axis to the resonance of analog's first filter. And now I can control both parameters simultaneously. As you can see here, smoothing is used to avoid abrupt changes in value. By default, the smoothing is pretty quick. This setting here allows you to choose a different smoothing speed or turn smoothing off altogether. In this case, I'll increase the value. And now the smoothing is quite a bit slower. If the matrix has velocity sensitive buttons, the velocity will control the smoothing speed. So the higher the velocity, the faster the smoothing. If you don't want to use velocity sensitive smoothing, this setting allows you to turn it off. This mode is identical to XY mode, except that it uses track based has mapping to control two parameters on the current track. Here I've got it set up for controlling auto filters frequency and resonance. And if I navigate to another track that has auto filter on it, I'll immediately be able to control those parameters.